In this No Man's Sky video, I'm going to show you how to power your base. I'll quickly cover the biofuel reactor, the solar panels, batteries, and how to find an electromagnetic hotspot, and of course, how to use the electromagnetic generators. For the solar panels and the bioreactor, you'll find it in the construction research unit. And because the power doesn't always kick on, it's important to put down a bioreactor. It's also advisable to put down a few batteries, as that stores power that you're not using. And of course, then you can start putting down some solar panels. And if you place your solar panels and your batteries on the roof of your build, you'll find that you don't have to wire them up. To get the electromagnetic generator, you have to go into space. Of course, call in the anomaly. Head to the back of the anomaly. And go to this middle kiosk here. And under industrial modules, you will find the EMG. You can also get the biofuel reactor, the solar panels and the battery from here as well. So once you've got them, head back to your base. Find a place that's close to where you're going to start building, but out of the way at the same time. I'm going to place some floor panels inside this cave wall. This is going to be my end point for all my electrical and mineral and gas stuff that I'll come to in a later video. By doing it this way, I can alter my build without affecting my farming. Now it's time to find my electrical power hotspot. I've already pre-installed my survey device, which means I've got the option to use the power survey mode, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. Then you head towards the electrical hotspot, Checking every so often to make sure you're going in the right direction as you'll find it might slightly correct itself as you get closer and closer. And when you get close to the hotspot, you're going to have to stay inside the survey mode until you're 5U away and then it will start to do this. Once the analysis is complete, step slowly backwards and forwards to find the exact centre of the hotspot as this will give you the ability to get the most out of the hotspot. Oh, and by the way, the hotspot itself is like a funnel, a tube, heading all the way up to the sky. So it's worth spending some time making sure you find the exact centre of the hotspot to get the maximum out of it. It isn't time yet to build the generators. We have to work our way back, prepping all the groundwork. So every 100 years or so, you create a little marker that you can see from a distance. Then dig a wall so your wires won't be visible. Yes, you could use a wire hider, but I like to be old school. And if you're not going to bury the wire, it's still useful to put the markers down anyway. Especially when you come to put a marker down on the hill. Any hole you put here is going to be too high up, the wire's going to be visible. So you can go and build camera mode and put the marker at a lower point. And this is going to be the location of our base, which is quite close to the second marker, so we can head back to the hotspot. Then we can build a tower of cubes and get rid of this marker. Before building the glitched power source, let's do a non-glitched version. To get the maximum out of the power source, do what I'm doing, put a floor panel down. Place four EMGs like so. Place three walls to the side. Place a floor and then four EMGs on top. And you have to keep going up and up and up. But to have something a little bit more creative and enjoyable, do what I'm about to do. Let's raise the tower a little bit higher. Then select the cube, green state it. Then hit wire and place at the same time. Once you've done the reverse wire glitch, carefully place it like I'm doing, so it doesn't twist. Then place a cube on top. Then do the reverse wire glitch again, connecting that wire to the bottom wire. Now you can delete the top two cubes and the angled wire. 
Now's a good time to lower the tower of cubes. Now select a small floor panel, go into the wire menu, highlight the pickup point, now hit wire and place at the same time to do the wire glitch. Now place a small floor panel to the side, green state one above it, do the reverse wire glitch, select the pickup point and hit wire and place at the same time. Now you can delete that small floor panel, place two small triangles as so. Now we're going to do the reverse wire glitch to wire glitch for each of the corners of the triangles. When you've done one triangle, you can delete it. Then you can repeat the process for the remaining triangle. And yes, this might seem complicated, but it's a lot easier than you think. But once you got to this stage, it's worth making a save. Then it's time to select the light flow panel, but make sure you rotate it like I'm doing now. So the electrical pickup point is pointing in this direction. And you're going to do that all the way around. double checking at the end that you haven't missed any by checking out the pattern. This is another good time to make a save. Select the electromagnetic generator. Go into the wire menu, then hit wire in place at each of the pickup points. And if like me, if you're at the front, it's best to do it at the back where you can clearly see the pickup points. Then we're simply going to wire glitch the electromagnetic generator to each of the pickup points all the way around. Once you've known you've done every single one, you can make a save and then delete all the bits in the middle carefully, making sure not to delete that central wire by just being offset a little bit. Now it's time to wire up all the generators, do it from a slight angle so we can get the right pickup point. Then you can connect it to the ground and then connect it to that battery. Then when you interact with the battery, you can see how much power you've got. And if over 5k is not enough, you can select the generator, go into the wire menu, wire glitch it to the central wire, connect it to the rest. Then go back to that central wire. And then you can wire several EMGs to that same spot over and over again until you've got enough power in your base to do all the things that you plan to do at a later date. When I inspect my battery, I've got quite a lot of power now. I can now delete that tower of cubes, connect to the end point, put it in the ground, then select the wire again, put it to that end point, then walk the wire to the first marker that we did a lot earlier, jump in the hole, place the wire, Pick up the wire, climb out the hole, walk it to the next marker point. Jump in the hole. Place the wire, pick up the wire, climb out the hole again. And then we can go to the end point that we made a lot earlier. Now all that's done, we can head back to the marker point remove them and fill in the holes. And when we finally get back to our power point, we can delete the battery, make sure there's no scaffolding around pick up a save beacon and place a battery here so we can easily monitor our power usage. I hope you liked the video and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. Oh,